Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will focus on your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, and what their intentions or next actions might be for the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Pisces regarding love. What messages, guidance do you have for Pisces regarding love? So let's see what's going on in your connection at this time. Oh, Nine of Cups reverse. What's going on for Pisces in love at this time? What's going on for Pisces? The Magician reverse. So someone wasn't able to get what they wanted or wasn't able to manifest a wish. Um, this could be you, this could be your person, because this is what's going on in your connection right now. So something wasn't able to be manifested, and I want to use this, I want to clarify your deck actually. I don't think I've done this for the other signs, but the tower. Spirit, can you get some clarity, please, for Pisces in this connection? What's going on in this connection between Pisces and their person? What's going on? What's this about? Let's see. Why is the Magician reverse? Why is the Magician reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Four of Swords. So I feel like someone wasn't able to manifest or wasn't able to get satisfaction because probably there wasn't anything being said or done with the Four of Swords. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Why the Ten of Pentacles? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit? The Hermit, Virgo energy. So I, was, I keep getting like this quiet energy. It's almost like perhaps the Ten of Pentacles was what someone wanted or desired, a long-term commitment, something solid, something stable. But I don't think they heard from the other person or the other person was quiet or withdrawn or didn't do anything. They were maybe just thinking, planning, but I don't think they made the move that they were supposed to make. The chariot here, Cancer energy. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? What's going on with this Four of Swords? Queen of Wands. It's like somebody was thinking about what to do, what action to take, what they were drawn to, attracted to. Yeah, I feel like this This is, um, yeah, there's the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this was um, a situation where someone was manifesting something. Um, there was desire here for something to happen, but I feel like someone was stuck here with the Eight of Swords or just didn't take the action necessary. Um, maybe they didn't communicate the way they were supposed to or should have. Um, and I feel like it caused this to kind of not go anywhere. Even though there's potential for the world here and the Ten of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Nine of Cups reverse and the Magician reverse? What do I need to know? Spirit, about this Nine of Cups reverse and the Magician reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is what should have happened. Some sort of clarity, communication, the truth being spoken. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Empress. There could have been something else that got in the way here. A particular person or just the, the fact that the truth wasn't being spoken was a block, you know? I wonder who this was. It's, it could have been, you could have been your person, Pisces, but I feel like 
for whatever reason, it, it's almost like uh, the energy that I'm picking up is almost like, um, how do I describe it? Like it wasn't surprising. The fact that this didn't happen wasn't truly surprising to someone. It's like they secretly expected it or that was their, you know, their worst fears realized, but it wasn't like unexpected that it didn't move forward or that something didn't manifest. It's almost like you always knew in the back of your mind or, or feared that it would happen. And when it did, you were kind of like, well, I expected that. That's kind of the energy that I'm picking up here. And again, I don't know who this is. This could be you. This could be your person because this is what's going on in your connection right now. So both of your energies are here. But communication is very important or the lack of, you know, it's, it's a major block as to or a major cause for what's happening. So let's see how you're both thinking, feeling about each other. I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other Pisces. And feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the roles can be reversed. All right, Spirit, can I get some insight into the energies that Pisces and this person are bringing to this connection? Can I get some insight, please? Tell me about Pisces. What energy is Pisces bringing to this connection? What energy is Pisces bringing to this connection? Unexpected event, so like a tower? bottom of the deck hidden motives so there could have been something that came to light here Pisces or or that's um, you know unfolding right now maybe a secret being revealed or something being revealed because I have hidden motives here so it's almost like maybe you saw someone's true motive or a secret was revealed that's what I'm picking up there tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with what are their energies what are their en energies at this time towards Pisces or this connection? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. Burning passion, interesting. Well, I don't know if there was a separation between you or if this person has to separate from someone else. Let me see what else we have here. Because I'm not picking up strongly that this was with you, so I'm keeping my options open here. <laughs> Oop. That does not go there. What else? What else can you tell me for Pisces and this person? What do we need to know about Pisces and their person spirit? Tell me about Pisces. Expect a message. Okay. I'm working on myself. I feel like there was, you know, either someone's going to speak to you and it's going to be unexpected. But see what I'm getting here? This is why it's almost like we have unexpected event, which is like the tower. And then we have expect a message, <laughs> which is very interesting to me. It's almost like if someone were to talk to you, Pisces, it would be unexpected, but at the same time you expected it, which I know makes no sense. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up. Okay, tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? I need more time. I'm working on myself, I need more time. I think this is what they're telling you. It's like they're telling you about delays or they're telling you about you know what's going on in their life. I regret what happened. I feel guilty at the bottom of the deck. So maybe they did something that is causing all of these delays. Maybe they made you a promise they couldn't keep. Or maybe there was a secret here that you found out. You know, we will see. We're also going to be looking at this person's uh, true intentions and what you need to know about them. All right, can I get some insight, please, for Pisces? And this other person's spirit. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? 
Tell me about Pisces and the energy they're bringing to this connection. What is Pisces thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Eight of Cups. So you're thinking about a departure. What is Pisces thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Five of Swords and conflict, deception, something that wasn't fair to you, something that wasn't right with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is someone that doesn't play fair and so they lose, you know, because they're not they're not playing fair and they think that that's the best option, but it, it never leads anywhere good. The Five of Swords is also a card about deception. What happened here, Pisces? I see it both ways right now. I see someone that, you know, perhaps you're walking away from someone because they didn't treat you right. But I also see this as someone that walked away from you and you're still thinking about it. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles. Going back and forth. Thinking about what to do. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands. I feel like you're thinking about um, a new beginning here or someone choosing to leave a situation because I have the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like there's a waiting period here. You're waiting for something. The moon after that, there you are, Pisces. You don't really, you're waiting for something, but I feel like you're not really sure. It's almost like you're waiting for something to come in, but you're not clear on exactly how that will happen or what will be coming in exactly. And again, this is this is kind of the energy that I picked up earlier, where, and I, I, I picked up here as well. It's like you're waiting for something that you know is coming, but you don't really know what it's about. <laughs> I feel like I'm confusing people, but I don't mean to. It's just, you know, this is energy and it's very hard to describe, but it's coming out in the cards, which tells me I'm not, you know, imagining it. You know, it's it's almost like, it's almost like, you know, for example, you are waiting for something you know is coming, but you don't know when, right? Or there's some sort of detail that you don't know, something like that. But I feel like this is someone that's debating whether to walk away from something, you know? Or maybe you're, you're waiting to see if this person will walk away from something in order to have a new beginning. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? The devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Something here is unhealthy. Ah, the lovers. When I see the lovers with Gemini energy, with the, uh, the devil, I think of karmic partnership. A partnership that turned unhealthy as well. Which is sad because the lovers is such a beautiful card. It's a card about a union. It's a card about making the right choice, you know, in your partnerships, in your lives, you know, listening to your heart, what truly matters or thinking with your head, you know, it's a beautiful card, the lovers. Sometimes it can mean a soulmate, but when I have it here with the devil, I think of, you know, this is a karmic situation where it turned ugly, even though it began very nice or very beautiful. So I feel like this is kind of the energy that you're bringing to this connection, I feel like for, for a lot of you Pisces, this is more about them than it is about you. It's like they're affecting you in a way. I don't think you're the one that has deceived someone. I think this is just a situation that almost like you're dealing with because you have to. 
Can I get some insight into this other person that Pisces is dealing with? Spirit? What do we need to know about this other person? What energies are they bringing to this connection? What do we need to know about this other person? The Five of Cups. Well, there's that regret, sadness, disappointment. What do we need to know about this other person? Nine of Wands, reverse. Yikes. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. You had the Empress reversed, which tells me something isn't growing, isn't manifesting, and you know it. I feel also like it has been ongoing for a while, Pisces, with the Empress reversed. Almost like it's been barren or there hasn't been a lot of growth or progression there hasn't been a lot of creative creativity you know like something isn't being created this ace of wands isn't really happening and then your person over here has the ten of swords and then they have parting ways so i feel like they, ha they have to have some sort of ending in their life or or some sort of difficulty that they're dealing with, especially because the Nine of Wands reversed is here. And that to me is a card about someone that is um, either giving up finally um, after, you know, a hard time or, or, you know, after holding on for so long, they're finally giving that up. Uh, the Nine of Wands reverse could also be a card about someone that's extremely exhausted, extremely um, overwhelmed. So let's see what this is all about. Can I get some insight, please, for Pisces? Tell me about this Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Five of Wands. So regret over conflict, difficulty. Look at all these fives that are coming up on the board. Five of Swords on your side, Five of Cups, Five of Wands on their side. It hasn't been easy. There's been conflict, uh, difficulty here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting like tempers flaring, you know, I'm also getting that this Queen of Wands, it's like they got in the way here for or, or participated in this conflict or drama. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. And the Page of Cups. Nine of Wands after that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting here with the Chariot is almost like... Um, it's like someone regrets not leaving when they should have. Or not moving forward when they should have. I feel like they didn't make the right move. If they did make a move, it wasn't the right one because there's regrets here. I feel like this movement is towards, you know, a page of cups. So it, this movi movement or moving forward or whatever action this chariot is about is about either apologizing to someone or expressing their feelings to someone with the page of cups. But I feel like this queen of wands, and they've shown up twice, I believe. I think this Queen of Wands is, is a problem. Who is this Queen of Wands? What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? Knight of Wands. Ugh. What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? Four of Cups. There's the five, I mean, four of pentacles, sorry. And there's the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, uh, this queen of wands. Okay, so let's say you're dealing with a third party situation and your person maybe was unfaithful with another person or has had another person this whole time. I feel like this person regrets being with this queen of wands. If that is the, if that is the story that there is a third party, someone regrets dealing with this queen of wands. <laughs> If you are not dealing with a third party, I feel like this Queen of Wands represents movement, action, and being bold, 
going after what you truly want. And I feel like this is someone that isn't doing that, is holding back instead, and that's bringing more regrets. They're unhappy with the outcome. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse here? Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Wands reverse here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Hangman. This person is kind of stuck, I feel. With the Hangman. And I think, what was it that came out? The Magician Reverse. The Emperor, Aries Energy. And the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's funny because I feel like this is someone who, with, especially with the Emperor here, we had the Emperor's Reverse come out. And now I have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh. I feel like this is, whoever you're dealing with Pisces, they're not doers. They pretend to be, if they're pretending to be this emperor, because the emperor is very decisive. You know, the chariot is all about movement. The knight of wands, this is about movement. Um, the emperor makes decisions, does what he needs to do, um, is a warrior, really. So he's the one like in battle with everybody else. So I don't get that, I don't get that this is your person's energy though. Like I think they're more of a hangman. Let's look at this person's true intentions or anything else we need to know about them. Can I get some insight into this person that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person, Spirit, that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? The frog. Okay, so this is about healing. This is about renewal. Fixing something. They say they need more time. Maybe they want to address this regret, this guilt that they're living with. What else do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? You were the best thing in my life. Okay. So they, they've experienced some sort of loss, which makes sense. The five of cups is here part about loss. Anything else that we need to know about this person? Anything else that we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? What else do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. That's the temperance card in Cancer. Ruled by the moon, that is the chariot. Okay. Again, this is all connected. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. I mean, that could also be the case. They could have those um, signs in their chart. But what I'm thinking is that this is someone that is slowly working on making a move. That's what I'm getting here. Um, they know that they've lost something good with you were the best thing in my life. They know that they need to make a move. That's for sure with the chariot here. But it's almost like with the hangman. And I wonder if it's because they're they're attached to something else uh, financially with the queen of pentacles or if they're married. There's the eight of swords that want to come out. They're, yeah, this person is stuck. Tell me about the hangman. This person is stuck. Maybe they're coming into this Emperor energy, but right now they're a hangman. They're not doing anything. Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Emperor. Strength, Leo energy. Maybe they need, um, maybe they need courage. And now the Four of Swords came out reverse, which I don't have reversals in this deck, but it is reverse, which tells me someone needs to stop thinking and actually do something. Maybe this is what your person is doing, slowly gaining courage. What are their intentions towards Pisces? 